Hi, my name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we'll talk about data validation, how we can be sure that our robot will type in the things that we want, for example in input or web forms, or actually anywhere else. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, that will mean a lot to me. So with that said, and looking at the president in three pictures, I'll get back to that. Let's move to UI path. We'll uh, go to activities, then we'll find the flowchart because we'll create like two or three sequences. So it'll be a lot easier. Click the arrows here, find the sequence, drag it in. We could call this input check web. Because now we'll get back to Donald Trump. Let us just double click the sequence. We want to sign up to a newsletter on his, or oh, it's actually the White House side. So we want to type in a mail here like a mymail.mydomain.com. However, things can happen. Her, like the focus uh, can get changed, so the robot uh, might only type in my ale, my domain.com, and then sign up, and then we got a problem because then we aren't signed up for the newsletter like we wanted, or uh, um, the robot can type too fast uh, for the system, so um, that happens not quite often, but sometimes. So usually you just want to make an input check to uh, be sure that the robot is typing the, the actual mail or whatever we want to type in. So let's see how we do that. Let me delete this. We'll go to UI path. Then we'll find a type into like this. We will indicate the, uh, like let me go back. We will indicate where we want to type into. So that'll be here. And um, the text we want to type in, we can make a string for that. So let's create the string here. Or we can create it down here with a mail. So that'll be string. Let's just call that input. And that will be a string, as we say. I think we'll change the scope to the flowchart, and we can just reuse the variable. And the default value, uh, the default uh, value that will be my domain at oh sorry, my mail of course, my domain dot com like this. And then we'll uh, put in the variable up here. So let me show you this. Now this one will just type the mail in. That works fine. Um, it should do. So uh, let us. Uh, UI path is a bit slow today, or actually, I think it's my computer. So we can see here it works. However, we can get into some problems. Let me just empty this field property, so it will empty whatever in it. So uh, let's uh, let us show a problem. The problem will be like if the user or anything else will click somewhere else on it like this. So now we clicked uh, at the desktop, and you can see that there. The robot only type in something. It could be that it clicked somewhere and clicked back and then it will just miss the letter or something, but this is definitely a problem because now we won't get the updates like we think we got. And especially if it's an unattended robot, then we will just click. The robot will click send and we think we are signed up and we are not. So um, let's create a her input checker. So the solution will be that we make a while loop. So let's do that. We'll drag in this while here, and uh, this while will let us drag this one down here in the body. So this one will type in, and um, we want to find out like when we type this in, we want to find out if uh, this uh, this mail is actually the thing that's typed in. So let's find a get text. What this does, it just get the text in the field. So get text here. We'll drag it in like under. We'll indicate where it should get the text from here. So this one will get whatever in the input field. And um, we will um, have an output. This one will just be like an empty variable for now, but it will get this, the, the thing that's in the input box will get stored here. So we'll call that str, like maybe check here. We can change this to a string. Everyone. So now this one, is nothing is really happening because it will just uh, type in this and then get something. So we want to, um, the condition should be like whenever the str input, I think we will need to change this to the flowchart as well to check here. So watch, whenever this str uh, input is not equal, 
is not equal to the str check, um, then this while loop should run because then we'll have the problem. So, um, but um, this might be a problem. Let's say that it falls like 100 times or 200, then we create it, or maybe it just. Uh, uh, will cause a problem like an unlimited times it's a system error or something then it's not really nice that we created an unlimited while loop so let's make a counter we will um, make a counter here in the count that will be an integer like this we'll just set the scope to flowchart and we'll can you reuse it so we will introduce a, an integer so that integer is zero the first time, and then we will add one to it every time it runs through the loop. So find an assign here in the bottom of the loop. So that will be the it count, and it, we will just add one to the error count like this. And then we can uh, choose. Let me close the variables. We can choose how many times we want this to run. So this could probably be we make an and and then the int count. Let's say that we want to run it three times. So it's going into the loop one time, then the int is zero, then one and two. So that will be whenever the int count is uh, greater than or equal to two or just less than three, we can write. Then it will run this loop and it will try three times and then go further. We could, uh, after this while loop, we could throw in an exception. So we could um, make an if. And uh, we could to tell the user that there's a problem here. So whenever this int count is greater than two, then we have a problem. So we can throw in an exception, find a true here. So that will be in the true. We will throw in an exception here. So let me open this one. So we'll put a new exception. Then we'll cho choose a error message. This one could be like um, mail could couldn't be typed in. Whatever, choose what you want. Then we click OK. Now we can try to run it, and I will create the error like three times to see that it's work. And after that, we can uh, create the error like one time. So now it will run. Now here yeah, that was one time. So now, that was, oh sorry, it worked at the second time. However, so now you see that you saw that it, it, it actually worked. Try the second time. Let me try to trigger it three times if I fast enough. Um, so now it runs. That was one time. It will try again. That was one time, two times. It was three times. And now it should stop and throw in an exception. It actually did. And the message was, was mail could not be typed in. So that's really good. However, let's say that we want to, we could use it like everywhere. Um, let us uh, go back to the flowchart. I'll copy this one and then we will paste it in here, over here, because it was really good. Well, it's actually a go to input checker that I use a lot. So we will uh, set this as start node, like the new one. So we can call this mail check save file. Because now we want to, uh, we have a text document, and we will save this. Control S, or oh, that doesn't work. So just save as, and we will we want to save it here on the desktop. So how do we do that? That's actually a document here. So we just want to save it uh, like this, and we could just shift right click, copy as path. So let's say that we are not in this directory. We just want to save it to this our directory with this file name. So let us. Um, copy this, let's just delete this, let this be, and then click into the save file. So we want to type into the uh, save file, so the input, that was just, so that's not a mail address now, that's just a uh, path, and everything else is SSP, we should just uh, edit the two selectors, so we'll indicate where it should type into, that's here, and it's actually the same place that it should get the text, so just indicate this. So this one will check that we actually write in the correct directory. Let's try it out. Run file. We can see that first let us run it uh, correctly. So now it will 
type whatever it should. And it, of course, we could make the flow, click save and all that, but we won't do it here. And um, let's try to trigger it. Let's try to, um, like we did before, see that our actually um, data validation while loop, it actually works. So run the file. I'll just click somewhere. Like whenever the, ro the robot is starting now, let me click out here. And we can see that it stopped. And now it tries again. Let me just say it's enough. And now it worked. So that's an easy way to create a, an input checker. You should do it like almost everywhere else. You, anywhere else you use an undetected robot. You can actually, yeah, you can apply it to everything. And that's it for now. I hope you subscribe if you think yeah, if, if you enjoyed the video or if you think it's good, because I think I will try to make more. Or if you got any comments, like what you want to see or things that you don't want to see, then just write me.